In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how you can take a single frame from a video clip and export it as a graphic image, what many people would call a photograph. Sometimes you might want to do this to promote a project you're doing and one of the frames just captures the image great. You might want to use it in another media like a poster or some kind of other context and so you can take that image out and use it or maybe you've taken a video and it's a video of a special event with a special person and you'd like to take a frame out of that and make it as a photograph you can give as a gift or send to someone that you care about so there's several different ways in which you can do that we'll cover those in this tutorial I have this clip of these two gals and let's assume that I want to take an image out of it and use it for promotion on the idea of collaboration there are two ways in which I can do this. The first way is to put the video on the track and then when it's on the track I move to the frame I want and I use Control P to capture it. Now in this case I'm here and I think that might work. You can use the period key to move forward one frame at a time and that's what I'm going to attempt to do now. So I'll get in my project with my mouse here and move forward and you see there her mouth is open there it's closed we're moving one frame at a time. That will help me get where I want. Some frames you don't want is where there's a lot of motion depending on your frames per second of your original source material and you've got some blurriness because hands are moving or the face is moving too much. So you can move to a frame with the period key to the right, the comma key to the left, and you can get to the frame that you want and then hold control and press the P key. That will take you to your file system then you can give it a name. I'm just going to call this test. Press enter and now it will save it in my media room and it will save it on my hard drive. That is one way to do it. There's another way that I think sometimes works even better. Take that same element and you can extract a whole bunch of pictures from the frames from which you can find the one you want and simply erase the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click first on my video and click on properties. So when I'm on properties, one of the key things it will tell me will be the frame rate. I need to know that. And now this was shot at 29.97 frames per second. Okay, so I'm going to remember that number. Now what I want to do is I want to export some of this and take a whole bunch of frames and just throw away the ones I don't need. There's two ways in which I can set this up. First of all is I don't want every frame from every second of a long video. That would be such a huge number of images and they wouldn't be bad but it's, it just burns a lot of space in your file storage. So one thing I can do is I can right click on this and I can use my pre-cut tool. And I can take the pre-cut and I can move the start to where I think I'm going to have some good interaction here. I like it with her hand on her shoulder. Uh, but here again, her hands are a little bit in motion. And so I might have some frames that uh, don't work quite so well. And so these might work. But you notice here's the duration. That's what I want to think about. Because here right now I have 23 seconds and 22 frames. So at roughly 30 frames per second, I've got 23 times 30, if I use the whole thing, that would give me the number of images I have, plus 22. So that's quite a few. Again, you can sort through them rather quickly, so I wouldn't be worried about it. But I, I might want something shorter than that. So maybe even if I shorten it this much, now I've got 15 times 30 plus 20. So let's let's try that just to to guess on it. Then I can click on trim. Instead of my regular clip, I'll take my pre-cut clip and then I can do export. And now when I'm in export, I'm going to click on image and I'm going to choose image sequence. I can use either JPEG or PNG. So let's do JPEG. And here I want my profile name quality. All right. How how much resolution do I want on the images? And again, you can have higher resolution than you have in your original. That won't really work. Let's do a 1280 by 720. Now frames per second. I recommend you use the same frame number as you did in the original minus 29.97. 
And then we say, where do we want this to go? That's important because you want to make sure you know where all these images are going to go. Uh, and it's called extract frame. Let, let's change the, 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 the prefix here from extract frame, which is the default. I'll just call this test two. Okay, then I'll click on start. And it's ex extracting 29.97 frames for every second that I chose there. So it really doesn't take that much longer. So now I go back to edit. Now, fortunately, it doesn't put them all in my media room, but let's open our file system. Let me pause for a second. Here are all the frames I have starting at test 200. Now what I can do is I can simply move through them with my preview and find the one I want and take note of the file name at the top without having to do this repeatedly using Control P. It will give me the, the chance to find one that works. Now there's one where there's not a lot of motion for her arms. They're looking pretty intently at each other. I might remember, well, this is one to try, number 036. And I could go through this as much as I wanted and I would be able to find them. And when you're done, you find the ones you want or rename or mark them and then just delete the rest. So let's go back to our project. Let's assume that we want to do this in a different way, maybe more precise. I'm going to take my original clip and drag it to the timeline. And then another thing I can do if I want to select the ones I want. So let's take that and now I'm going to enlarge the timeline and we'll do a range. So I want to pick a range here. And let's say I assume that I want this range here, or I can set the range by using the time code and pick my start and my stop. And then I can do export range. And I choose the same thing, image sequence. I pick my, my size, I pick my frame rate. And here I this says extract frames, which again is my default. I'll call it ABC, it'll show up first in the uh, in the file listing here alphabetically. Okay, and we'll click on start. It will do the same thing again. It's much shorter. Let's go look and see what we have there. And if I look in the file folder, it looks like I have ABC000 all the way to ABC130. So that gives me fewer to pick from, but it also gives me fewer files I have to mess with in my file system. So you pick a, a medium that works best for you in your context, but this is a very easy way to take frames from your project and turn them into useful digital images, photographs, for any purpose that you want.